welcome to a new episode of NBA 2K TV. And we are very excited because we have MP in the house today. MP, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you guys for having me here. Uh, I've been playing 2K since I was a kid and uh, it's really cool to be here. And as someone who's been playing 2K for as long as you can remember, I mean, this must be a crazy experience. What's it like seeing yourself in the game? Alexis, it is a trip. I mean, the, the graphics <laughs> just get better and better each year and it's like, it's like looking at myself in a mirror, you know? <laughs> but the big question is, what about your game? Did we get it mostly right? Oh, for sure. I mean, I, I do think my points should be higher overall, but I mean, overall, you guys did a pretty good job. <laughs> you know, that's not the first time we've heard oh, that. Oh, I Believe bet. Me. I bet. <laughs> so our producers tell us you're somewhat of an analytics guy. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you know, like a competitor like myself, you know, I'm always looking for... What are some things that analytics have done to help your game? Ooh. Go on feet, let's go. Like that's picked, MP. Look at tonight. This could come down to the backcourts, Grant. They're both very talented. Yeah, B.A., you know I love great guard play. And, of course, each team has some serious skills at that position. So expect a fast pace of play, lots of threes. <laughs> it should be one heck of a matchup. And a look at the starters for the Bulls. Ball runs point with Levine flanking him. DeMar DeRozan is out there with MP. And it's Drummond in at the five spot. Now here's Ball to empty Paul against Paul Drummond with the screen Levine passes to Drummond and the shot goes down as we've seen him develop in this league Levine has become a better passer willing to move the rock and that streaking rock attack is the mobile one drive a aggressive take there to get inside they're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game after a tough decade for the Suns between 2010 and 2020, they are once again a team to be reckoned with in the NBA brand. Oh, man, the cachet of talent that this roster has is tremendous. And this team really came together in a hurry. And they're going to be a force for the next few years to come. Now here's Paul. 14 points his last outing. Here's Johnson. Phoenix no good that time either. Not a bad shot from the mid-range. The D's giving it to him, and he's... Usually he got an eye in that kind of range. Here's MP. That one's good for two. MP's got a second bucket of the night. Well, I heard this the other day. MP connecting with Tracy McGrady. That's right. T Mac. They were discussing what it takes to be a leader. Well, it's always a good idea for someone like MP to reach out to a vet. The knowledge McGrady has can really help him out. And after missing their first three shots, maybe this will get them going. Outside Levine. Back to MP. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Levine. MP's got six. Well, they can't miss four for four and warming up the burner. Nice shot by Okogi. And this kind of distribution is something that Devin Booker is only going to improve upon. Ball passes to MP. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Sinks another one. He's on a roll, starting four for four. Look, they're not going to play a perfect game, but so far they are five of five, and the D has to be concerned. Up top, Aiden. Pass to Booker. Rebound by the Bulls. 
their first chance to take a look at the Suns this season. It's really hard to know what to expect when teams play only twice a year. Makes it a bit of a mystery. Yeah, this one will be for sure. Interconference matchups are always pretty fascinating just because of timing on scouting and how often you watch teams like this affect some of the unpredictability of the East-West battle. So it's Phoenix now, following the bucket by the Bulls. Booker goes in, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Booker's got his second basket of the game. And athletic play right there, Devin Booker on the inside. And it didn't take long for Phoenix to match the offer she ate signed with the Indiana Pacers. Now, there was talk they might let Aiden walk after that fallout during their playoff exit. But Phoenix knew they needed to keep Aiden to remain a contender. And the... Well, the Bulls shooting a fantastic 57%. The deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. The duo inside, Johnson and Aiton. And it's Okogi in at the three spot. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Levine passes to MP. And he makes it. MP's got 14 points for the game. And I've heard that MP has reached out to KG for advice, specifically to talk about how to be a leader in the NBA. Now Grant, you talk about it all the time, the great leaders. KG is at the top of that list. It goes to show you how serious MP is about stepping up as a leader. Booker, no good. Chicago with the ball. Ball outside. Phoenix foul. Josh Okogi. First personal foul. First team foul. Pass to MP. And here's Drummond. The kick out to Ball. Just five on the clock. That's good from Drummond. On the assist by MP. And it's a six-point Bulls lead. And yeah, Drummond's going to go right back up into that physical play. And he's still going to finish strong. Outside Johnson. Here's Booker. Beyond the arc. No good on the shot. Now Chicago takes it the other way. To the paint. Here's Levine for three. On target from range. He's got five. How about that? Coming out to start the half. A perfect three of three. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Thanks a lot, Brian. Well, the Bulls are a force once again. Zach Levine said, quote, it's a new team, a new mindset, and I'm always confident. You step on the line, throw the ball up, and I don't think anybody's better than us. Guys, they're ready. And they've got the talent to back it up, Allie. Thanks. And he comes up with a bucket. I'm not sure what the coach said at halftime, but whatever it did, it's lit a fire. They're now four of four from the field to start their offense here in the second half. Aiden with a screen. Here's Paul. And he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. Paul's got his third bucket of the night. Anytime CP3 gets inside the three-point line, or especially inside the top of the key, he's an immediate threat. Here's Drummond. Shoots over Aiden. Oh, Aiden with the block. MP finds Ball. Back to MP. To the middle. Ball outside. Let's the three fly. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. And in Chicago, there are still feelings about what could have been last year. That team was rolling with Lonzo Ball at the point. But once they lost him, things definitely changed. Well, if he wants to make the defense work, he's got to start knocking down the threes. Only one so far in this game for him, and none since halftime. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Yeah, ball hurt his left knee. Initially, they thought they might get him. Shooting approach has been going here so far for the Bulls. They've been all about high percentage looks in this game. 
working the ball inside and doing whatever it takes to get it to go. Well, looking at the stat sheet, I could just see here tonight sharing the basketball. The stat that comes up most is assists. So sometimes you have to look for your teammate. That makes things happen. They've done it. And for Chicago, let's take a look. They've got Andre Drummond. MP is out there with DeMar DeRozan. Then there's Zach Levine, and it's Tasumu in it to one. MP, the pass to DeRozan. Cash. It's MP picking up the assist. This small advantage is starting to snowball. Yeah, this team is looking to add to the lead, trying to put the other team away, and threatening here. Pass to Okogi from behind the arc. Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's got his seventh rebound here tonight. DeRozan finds Levine inside. MP, that one's good. And it's a 10-point Chicago lead. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Here's Booker. And it's Chicago with a board. Drummond's got eight rebounds in the game. MP outside. Pass to Drummond. Over Aiden. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Here's Okogi. Now Johnson. Now here's Paul. Covered by MP. Here's Okogi. Booker. The pass to Aiden. Unloads. And again, it's the Suns missing. The Bulls have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Booker. And he can't stop the drought. Another miss. Just not sure if he ran out of energy at halftime or what, but uh, so far just not himself in the second half. Two minutes remaining in the game. MP left side. Pass to DeSumo. This one for three. That one falls. Coming off a drum and feed. DeSumo's got five. Andre Drummond, he can make those kind of plays. The Bulls making a switch here. Ball's checked in. There's a minute 54 left in the game. Levine against Booker. Aiden, a screen on Levine. Here's Booker. And they get it back. Paul. DeRozan outside. Back to ball. DeRozan outside. Five on the clock. Fires from deep. Chicago with a three. It looks like it'll be a big win for them here. Time to just cruise to the end of the game and chalk up the victory for the Bulls. When you look at their assist totals, you can see why it was easier for them to score. The ball was really popping tonight. And good things seem to happen when you're patient and willing to make the next pass. Their offense has flowed really well. And reaching a nice milestone, an even 20 wins on the year. And against a non-conference opponent, you really want to win the first one. So go into the next one knowing how to beat this team for sure. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for MP. It looked like a couple times they might be wearing him down, but not the case. At the offensive end, he was just devastating. Looked like a simple play and turned into a turnover. Can't give away possessions like that. And the Suns will go for a different look here. Landale's checked in for DeAndre Ayton. Crowder comes in for Johnson. Craig is checked in for Okogi. And Payne is subbed in for Paul. A big group substitution here for Chicago. Green's checked in for Drummond. Deck comes in for DeRozan. White, he's checked in for Zach Levine. And Drogic has subbed in for Ball. Right here. Drogic with it. the Bulls winning this one easily that's the end of the walk in thank you fans for being here to support your team I saw your appearance on NBA 2K TV where mm -hmm. you actually
Mm, I wouldn't say on the outs. It sounds to me like you're pretty unhappy here. Honestly, man, most of the time it's been. Yo, yo, let's uh, let's talk in here. Everything I? Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything's great. I mean, you're doing great. I just, you know, wanted to talk in private. Yeah, you talk. Level advice. Sure, baby. If you feel obliged, I take tips. Put me back on the free plan. Imagine. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. Y'all have a great day and peace out.